Hello, in this tutorial I go through the Hellover program and you know go line by line and try to explain what does each line do as I did in the first tutorial on GTK and so on so first of all we have to include our header file which is sds-sdl.h okay this is the header file for sdl obviously okay and then we have the main app you have to be careful if you are running on windows because you have to give this command line argument as you may get um, uh, some problem linker error I think uh, never mind just put it and it will be good okay the first thing you want to do whenever you uh, create an SDL is to initialize the SDL similarly to GTK and anchor test so SDL init okay and inside parentheses as a parameter you have to give what do you want to initialize there are a lot of uh, subsystem of the SDL like timers, video, uh, audio and so on uh, you can initialize it one by one by uh, p uh, um, put the value in here, pass the value in here and use a binary OR so a bitwise OR and uh, another value and a binary or and another value but we just do uh, initialize everything so to initialize everything you use the mac uh, you do the constants sdl init everything like that okay this will initialize uh, everything simple that's what it means okay we need a few variables in here actually for now just one later we can add a lot of SDL surface in here so SDL surface and screen okay an SDL surface is a structure which uh, which so which shows a memory address we where we can draw so you can imagine it as an image it has pixels we can draw there or we can store an image there we can do a lot of things in there <coughs> we just use it as a back buffer so we will not instantly write to the video card because that could cause that the game is flickering uh, we write a memory to a back uh, buffer uh, to the screen and then whenever we are ready with the draw we just uh, put in the video memory so it is quicker quicker okay we have to initialize the screen to initialize the screen we use the SDL set video mode uh, this is an SDL function obviously it requires four parameters the first two is the resolution so 480 bar 8 what what 640 bar 480 that's what I wanted to say this is the resolution of our window yeah I think you understand it okay the second w the third parameter is the bit per pixel so how many bits there are in a pixel uh, usually you should use the uh, 32 32 is a good number you that's good uh, you can use 24 or don't know uh, numbers like that I just use the uh, 32 uh, almost always okay and the last parameter is the flags how do you uh, want to use this screen there are a lot of uh, flags I will not introduce you all of them uh, the simplest is the SDL SV surface this means it will create uh, the memory as in your system memory so yeah this is it it's create uh, the back buffer in your system memory and whatever it needed we just copy it to the uh, video you can use SDL uh, double uh, buff uh, this is the double buffer uh, actually I think I, is it, I don't really use it never mind uh, you will see I will link if I don't forget to all of them so we just use the SV surface uh, in here you can use uh, binary or 
to set other flags like FDL full screen. Now your application will be full screen. Okay, you may not want to use that until I introduce you to the key presses as you cannot exit from the program, obviously. Okay, the next thing is uh, to make the game loop. Usually, uh, there are a boolean value uh, until this boolean value is true or until this boolean value is false you will run this main loop so make a running equals to true okay this oh this is a boolean i forget okay so this is a boolean uh, and we can use the main loop while running then do something so while running okay and here inside the while loop we can do a lot of things in here we handle the events so uh, we check that whenever someone click to the x button in the window or someone click the, the mouse or someone press the key so a lot of things we can check and usually the first thing is to actually uh, make this event check so we need an event structure uh, which will contain the event, uh, the actual event. The event structure name is FDL event. Uh, by the way, uh, be careful with the capital and non-capital letters. In FDL, it uh, the usually function and variable and structure names are the follow. Uh, it has a capital FDL and then an underscore and then all of the word of that uh, 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 name is the first letter is capital always every word so as you can see in here it is a perfect example a capital FDL an underscore and set with capital S video with capital V and mode with capital M and all of them uh, and all of the others except the first letter is uh, non-capital so uh, yeah i just want to tell you that maybe it makes you easier to remember the function names and uh, how to write it okay we just call it event okay to to put something in the event we use the poll event uh poll event uh, function uh, actually pull the, uh, whenever you do something so click the key keyboard uh, click the mouse press the key uh, in your keyboard, move the mouse, it will put in a row, so Q, uh, how can I say that, um, yeah, uh, uh, there are a lot of events, and uh, FDL pod event will just get the uh, one event, and if the FDL pod event is fail, it will give back a null. So, we can use a while loop to go through all of the events that happened uh, in high FPS, which our game, usually there will be just one event at once, but uh, uh, there could be uh, situations, actually a lot of situations where there is more event. So if I just use the SDL pool event here, uh, uh, that would work probably. Okay, so we use a while loop inside this while loop and use the SDL poll event function. SDL poll event function will await uh, the address of the event. So give it. All right, that's it. And here, inside this while loop, we can handle the event. Okay, a uh, very common technique to handle event events is to use a switch case statement so a uh, switch event dot type so event has a, a member called type okay uh, the type will give uh, back the number actually but there are constants so we don't have to remember all of the numbers so switch event dot type and in here for now we will only check one but you know uh, if we use switch we can easily 
uh, add another event uh, handling if we want to. So, uh, case SDL quit. So this is a constant as you can see. We just check that if it's equal to event dot type. If so, then uh, someone, uh, probably the user, uh, press the X button in here. So uh, we just set the running equal to false. Uh, that means that this while loop will not run any longer. And uh, actually break from here. We don't want to be here, just break it, you know. Alright, that's it. And uh, so we handle all of the events. In here, uh, under this switch case statement, so uh, actually not in this, in here, under this while loop, so under we handle all of the events, here we use the logic and initialization. Okay, uh, here we will write the logic and the initialization and the render. Uh, what am I doing? Not initialization, render, I want to say. So, here we write those. Uh, for now, we don't use any logic. For example, here you uh, would put that uh, the key or whenever you press the up key, you uh, go up and, uh, you know, just things like that. Here, just handle all of the events, then the logic comes in and then render out. Uh, actually, we need one thing in the render. This is the SDL flip function, SDL flip screen. As I said, we don't write to the screen. Uh, we write actually uh, uh, to, the, to a, bu a buffer, back buffer in your system memory. And it will not visible uh, in the screen until you call the SDL flip function. And it with one parameter, it is SDL surface. Uh, what do you want to uh, flip? So, what do you want to put in the memory, uh, video memory? So, what do you want to be visible on the screen? We want to set the screen. So, yeah, that is the only va uh, variable we have. And, yeah, that's it. Okay, outside of the while loop, we have to deinitialize everything. So remember, whenever you have an initialization, there should be some uh, deinitialization similarly to GTK and N courses. So, SDL quit. This is the name of the function, and you know it is just deinitialize the, the variables and uh, you know so on. Okay. Probably we can compile it right now. Okay, I just have to go to the cor correct location. This was the second the CPP LSDL. Okay, like that. Uh, it has no error. Actually, not syntax error. There could be other errors like, uh, uh, you know, a segmentation failure. So any kind of runtime error. But it seems that it it is work as you can see. And one thing you may notice, uh, we don't have anything in here, uh, when, uh, but our CPU usage is very high, even a very uh, a strong machine. Uh, that's because this while loop will run as quick as it can, so probably we have thousands of FPS, but, you know, we have to... Uh, make it lower FPS, so for example 30 or 60 FPS, that, you know, uh, uh, that's what we will write in the next tutorial, uh, among other things. Okay, that was it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.